Oh, cause so humans have in in this world, humans have enslaved fairies. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Why is anime obsessed with slaves? <laughs> I'm actually watching a lot of anime this year. And the most wild one has to be Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. I had just recently picked this anime up because people were talking about it on Twitter. And the visuals did look really clean from the screenshots I was seeing. But bro, when I tell you this anime is wild, this anime is pretty wild. So it's a shoujo anime, but don't let that turn you away. The, when you hear the name Sugar Apple Fairy Tale, you think sugar, spice, and all things nice, right? From the title and even from the visual aesthetic, it sounds like a very cutesy anime and looks like a very cutesy wholesome anime. But if I summarize to you the plot, you're gonna be like, what the hell? So Sugar Apple Fairy Tale takes place in this like fantastical world where fairies exist. And the fairies are not treated that well. They're enslaved by humans. They're literally treated like livestock. They're beaten or yelled at when they do something wrong they're sold and traded and yes these fairies have magical abilities so you might be like how the hell are the humans even capable of controlling them it's because of their wings the fairies wings are their heart if you capture the wing you basically have a hold of the fairy's heart so a lot of the times the human will capture a fairy's wing and then use that wing in order to control the fairy you'll be like hey if you don't do this i'm gonna crush your wing under my hand and when the humans crush the wing they feel the pain so our main character, her name is Anne, right? And she's basically a sugar confectionery. The fairies can prolong their life by eating silver sugar. So sometimes sugar confectionaries have a really good bond with fairies. Anyways, Anne is on a journey to become a sugar artisan. And on her journey, she actually has to travel to the kingdom. So she needs a warrior fairy to help her get there. Now the thing is, Anne isn't like most people in this world. She actually cares for fairies. A lot of sugar artisans do. Her mother taught her from a young age about the importance of fairies. Anyways, so Anne ends up meeting a fairy by the name of Shalf and Shal, who is a warrior class fairy. He's being sold and traded, so she ends up buying him even though she doesn't want to. While you're watching this anime, the aesthetic is very cutesy, however, there's a lot of gore present within this anime. There are a couple of gory scenes, like Shaw literally will attack people. And it's weird because the setting and the aesthetic don't match what's happening on screen. But honestly, I've been engaged with this anime. I think the story is pretty interesting and I think the world itself is very engaging. Learning about fairies, learning about their situations, learning how fairies spawn into this world. There's a lot of different kinds of fairies. There is a weird age gap between the main male character and the main female character. And I'm not sure if he's like in love with her or if he's just like, you know, trying to protect her like a father figure. I get it, he's a fairy and he doesn't age and whatever, but the man is like 100 years old, so it's very weird. And she's very young, so like, I don't know, It's such a, that's such a weird dynamic, I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of like the whole vampire situation, but she's also extremely young, so I don't know. But aside from that, it honestly is a good anime, I am enjoying it, it is engaging, it is wholesome at times, even though there is a lot of gore and there's a lot of dark themes present, it is wholesome at times as well. I would say the strongest suit of this anime is definitely the world, the world is very engaging, it feels very Ghibli-esque. I really love learning about the world, I love learning about fairies, I love learning about certain characters and, and who they are and a lot of cool things about this world. The main characters are also interesting, Anne is a very interesting character, Shalf and Shal is an interesting character. Overall, it's definitely an anime that's worth checking out, even though it is extremely wild. This is actually my second ever shoujo anime, I'm, okay, I'm currently watching three right now, okay? I, I finished Yona of the Dawn, then I picked up Sugar Apple Fairy Tale, and now I'm watching the Snow White with the red hair. Because I was going through my anime list, and I seen that I watch a lot of seinen and a lot of shonen, and I've even watched a couple of jose, but I've never seen any shoujo, so I was kind of interested, I'm like, you know what, I'll pick it up, let me see what it's about. I definitely do see there's a lot of potential for this series, it could definitely get a lot darker with a lot more themes present. So far, I think it's really good and I think there's more potential for it to grow on me. I saw Giga talking about it on Trash Taste as well. That's kind of another reason I decided to pick it up. It's definitely not an anime that's for everyone, but if you do get into it and you do enjoy it, you'll probably stick around. But listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. I talk about all things anime manga related. Thank you for all the love and support you guys show. It genuinely means a lot to me. Tomorrow, I'll probably upload a One Piece video. It depends on how the day is. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone. Please hit that subscribe button. It's literally free and you don't lose nothing. It just helps out the channel a lot. Peace out.